learning in class i liked writing but then learning here was actually more fun because we got to make projects of our own and we got to learn more i am a visual learner so if i am shown something in a video format or anything like that i understand it very well them like many of us were like that so it's actually easier for us to understand enjoyed learning about the cultures of this new continent because it was like traveling around the world just when you were sitting in that one classroom it was an amazing experience i think this is a good way of bringing out children's talents and uh, their enthusiasm and all their learning into uh, a way that they want to show it's not that they just you know copy paste something and do and some of their work if you see it's very creative they've learned this new way of doing foldables new way of displaying and then it's amazing to see some of the bright ideas and suggestions kids come up with so that makes you also makes me be better prepared and be motivated because i know my audience is going to be more prepared than i am <laughs> child has to go through an experience and that that becomes a part of their life right then learning doesn't remain learning it becomes an experience so it's important and it's it's rather integral that you that you include that in your in your teaching and you somehow make it more realistic somehow make it more hands on and you make it a part of their life it's, it is an experience to be had once you've had an experience you don't forget it and the best way to do it would be to do it through a project where you identify a problem i mean i personally don't go around and tell this is what you should make i tell them look around look around and find a problem for yourself that's a scientific method right there's a challenge around you somewhere in the environment uh, that energy is never created or destroyed but it takes a uh, different forms and we can use that the energy of the water is transferred to the turbine in the turbine with the help of the transmission shaft it's transferred to the pul big pulley and from the transmission cord it's transferred from the big pulley to the small pulley and with the help of this iron nail here the energy of the small pulley is transferred to the magnets then the magnetic energy is converted into electrical energy and that is what is shown here i had done this project with um, two of my other friends and um this project is basically based on what we uh, learned in in class and um what we learned in class is the respiratory system which is basically the how uh, we inhale and how we exhale so when you're teaching someone then you then you have to get prepared prepared a lot and through that research and what we are doing you learn a lot more i really liked it cuz like the children and the parents they got to know like other um things that they're learning besides learning from the class so like um i could learn what seventh graders are doing and i could learn some of the stuff that like i didn't understand or something and um they could like explain it and so yeah i i thought the idea was really good experiential learning is always the best way of learning because it's hand hands on and you kind of do it on your own so it solidifies everything in in that and reinforces is everything that has been taught in class um the teaching part obviously has to be there because you you are uh, you need to know what is going on but then it's all up to you to how to uh, internalize it so when you're making these model when you're making in a presentation when you're showing in things in um, how it works how it uh, this is happening and why that is happening why it changes is happening why is it important to our body all these things come up up um, very well when they are actually doing it hands on so hands on is always the best um, way of learning so all this came without any force i would say because uh, all of them contributed you can see the number of uh, submissions they have done so they all contributed and i felt it was a joyful challenge it was not a burden of a challenge
what you saw at the exhibition was just a small glimpse of what we do on regular basis in our classrooms it's a very small part of it and children go through this process unknowingly uh, it 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 has to be taught to them in a way that uh, that it becomes natural it comes naturally to them and any concept uh, the way i prepare it i can tell you personally the way i look at it is when i'm preparing for a lesson i have to prepare for every possible question that will be thrown my way because these kids are smart they are intelligent and the amount of resources they have the amount of knowledge base that they have is far beyond me so i'm actually learning from them